morning, guys. I'm gonna go outside and sit with my um, dog while I, oh, crap, Sam left his truck windows open last night. I don't think he knows that he did that. Um, okay, so, Doug, come say hello. I woke up just like, I mean, a few seconds ago. I did not sleep at all last night because someone, I'm not gonna name any names, but someone, um, wouldn't let me sleep. Just kept moving, kept wanting to be in the center of Sam and I, and <laughs> it just was bad. Um, so I actually have to go pretty soon, like before I have to get started from work. I'm working from home today because I have an orthodontist appointment. Um, but I need to go soon and get half and half and 2% because, or I mean half and half an almond milk because someone, not gonna name any names, um, opened the fridge the other day while Sam and I were at work and ruined everything. If he didn't eat it, it got spoiled. Like it got ruined because it was open all day. Like he opened it, by the way everything felt, he probably opened it within 10 minutes of me leaving for work. Um, but it's just, I've got a lot to do today. So I've got to go to the orthodontist. I'm so nervous. And, uh, <laughs> um, but I have an orthodontist appointment and it's just been a crazy week, but my neighbors just got home. I wanted to share some stories with you guys. Um, just like the crazy things that have been happening, all extremely crazy blessings, like beyond. Um, actually, let me go make sure my coffee's done. So Sam and I, hold on, like, you know, definitely started September and we were like, it's gonna be a good month and we're gonna be so lucky and we're gonna be so blessed. And I don't know, we just had this like really positive mindset. And so when the month started, um, you guys know that Sam had just like started his other job and so there were a lot of changes But we were like very optimistic about how this month was gonna go, but it has been amazing. So so the very first week I think it was like I think it was the yeah, it was like the first Friday of the month um, Sam called me and he was like so I got a raise which was crazy um, totally unexpected, but he did. He got a raise. Hold on, let me turn. I'm sorry I'm moving you guys so much. I'm just trying to get in focus and brightest. So he got a raise, and we were so excited. And then literally two hours after I got that phone call, um, so there was a, uh, like, manufacturer, I guess, um, or company or whatever, and they had not been paying like to know it like our income like what we had earned from affiliate links and it's kind of difficult to explain but i'll do it as brief as possible every company individually pays like to know it or reward style and then they pay us after they're paid out and they hadn't been paying and so like to know it basically said okay well we're, they're not gonna be able to link anything through you guys you guys still owe them this money and we're gonna put a pause on it so that company came back and was like oh no we'll like you know we'll pay them um and so they had to get everybody's checks like up to date and I guess I wasn't aware how much I had sold from them. So I got a massive check from them. Like the very first week of September, the same day that Sam got a raise. And so like a massive check. And I was so excited. I had no idea that I had even like sold that much um, through affiliate links. And so I was able to pay off a medical bill that has been just looming over me from an expensive surgery that I had a few years ago. And so I got to pay that off. So I was like, oh my gosh, this month is just amazing. It couldn't get any better. And then Monday of this week, um, one of the managers at work was like, hey, can we chat for a second? I just want to update you on a few things. And I was like, sure, that's fine. Like, call me whenever you get a chance. And I got a raise. So, like, God is working in the Robinson household. The blessings are a plenty over here. So, I just, I don't know. I really wanted to share that with you guys because, um, like, my family has been through some hard times the last few years. And then, like, that, you know, Sam and I have been through some hard times. 
but we always stayed positive and we continue to like pray and just believe that you know it, good things are going to happen and i think that's like the true um quote that i love about christianity is like uh, being a Christian doesn't mean you're free from issues. It just means that you're free um, from facing them alone. And so, I don't know, it was just like really cool that this month uh, started out like on such a strong note and it's kept going the entire time. So, it's been a really good month and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, if you're going through a rough time, just know. And like my family, we went through some of the roughest of rough, like unimaginably hard. Um, so... It, it definitely can storm and rain, but it won't last forever. My sweet girl. My sweet girl. Okay, so I have to go drink this first cup of coffee so I can function like a normal adult. Uh, so that I can then go to the store and get half and half and then come home and start work. So, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this cat. I just can't with these animals. My sweet sashi girl. My sweet sashi girl. I want the camera focus on your pretty face. What, you don't have a human face? So it doesn't want to focus? What, you don't have a human face so it doesn't want to focus? You're so pretty though. So yeah, I just really wanted to share that. So I'll keep you guys updated um, on how the orthodontist appointment goes. I'll be vlogging a lot today and like tomorrow. Um, but I still have to like get to work and do, oh my gosh, why am I not in focus? I'm so sorry, you guys. This has just been a all over the place vlog. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. So I'll keep you guys updated. Going to the orthodontist, very nervous. I'm not opposed to shedding a tear if it means that it will get these braces taken off. But I just have a gut feeling that they're gonna be like, no, another month. All right, friends, another vlog where I'm talking about being nervous about going to the orthodontist. I don't know. I'm like cautiously optimistic that they're gonna say, okay, we'll take them off, but then there's like the other 50% of me that's like, nah, they're gonna just tell you to go another month. Um, Cause that's what's in the computer, so I guess we'll see. I'm so nervous. I am like a mess. So ridiculous, I do this every time. Well, at least we have a date now. So I am not getting them, they are still on. And they're not coming off till November. Um, I'm just gonna suck it up. I want it done right. I've, I've gone this long, I can go two more months. So, I, well, I literally have a countdown, it's eight weeks. Um, I have a little countdown app in my phone that I've just used like, you know, throughout time. It is one month, three weeks, four days, and 19 hours until I get these things removed. I told, I was like, you're gonna let me set the date. That means you can't change your mind. So November 13th will be, we're gonna throw a party on the vlog channel in, in this vlog. I'm bummed, but it's okay. I'm gonna have straight teeth and that's, I wanted okay so I wallowed in my self-pity for a while about my braces I am being such a wuss um I gotta get up and start kind of like cleaning up the house a little bit I wanted to show you guys look at this cutie pie like the cutest of cute and I'll tell you a story about her look at that baby look at that baby I'm so pretty. You're so pretty. You got an eye booger. Hold on, I'm getting it. You're so pretty. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Um, Sam was given this yesterday, by the way. It's this beautiful chest of yours, so we're gonna paint it sometime this weekend. It's got like really pretty detail on the side. Um, and it's gonna just stay in here. So, okay. But let me, let me just, let me tell you a little story about this one. Look, she knows, she knows I'm about to tell y'all. 
So our dog is outside inside. He spends as much time outside as he wants. He asks to go out, he gets to go out. He has to come in, he comes in. It's up to him. The reason being is because he's a big dog and you know, we just think he should get to be outside. One day when we get a gate in our yard and then a second dog, it will be the exact same thing. They just won't be tied up to the line like Doug is now. It's a 50 foot line. It might actually be 100. It's either 50 or 100 actually. Um, foot line so that he can go in the yard. Our cats are strictly indoor. Every vet that we have taken our cats to always says, are your cats completely indoor? And we go, yes, and they go, good. All of them. Um, my mom has outdoor indoor cats and they've always kind of had issues and one of them used to go like missing for a few days and he'd come back all beat up, like he would get in fights. It was the oddest thing. So our cats are completely indoor. Today, my sister was over. She's home from Virginia. Um, she was buying a car and so I was outside looking at her new car and the door had cracked open and somebody, Miss Allie, had gotten out and was just sitting on the front porch, chilling. Now because our cats are strictly indoor, I don't know if they just don't have the survival skills or they just like don't know certain things, but I was like, oh my God, Allie! Cause like, I mean, she truly couldn't defend herself outside. Like she is, you've seen her, she weighs like 30 pounds. Like she just, she couldn't do it. So. I take off running and I'm like running up to the porch because I can see her. She is like on the porch at this point, like straight. I, I can like see her making a beeline for the stairs. Doug's just sitting outside watching her. And I was like, Allie! And she turns and she was like, oh crap, I'm trapped. Cause she didn't know if like she could have gone through the spindles through the stairs. She probably couldn't, she probably too fat, she probably get stuck. But this little girl tried to escape today. Did you try to escape? Yeah, she was like, I'm escaping. I'm leaving, goodbye. And so Sam has been stressed out all day. Uh, he's been texting me, he's like gone, um, he, he's on his way home, but he's like far away for work today. And he's just like, oh my God, I just don't know what we would do. They would die, they don't know how to defend themselves. Like, you can't let them out again. And I'm like, chill, it's fine. I wasn't paying attention. It was a momentary lapse in judgment. They're okay, so. Yeah, I just, <sighs> it's just been a crazy day. Hey guys, so we are going to pick up Sam's little brother right now. Um, The oldest of his little brothers. Um, He's got to basketball practice. You guys haven't seen a lot of this one in this vlog, because I like vlogged a lot the day that I worked from home. Yeah. And so I like did a lot of vlogging that day at home and then when you got home I wanted to spend time with you without the camera so we are taking the apple butter finally we made it what is on that list? seven days ago a week ago we're finally getting to take it to these boys Avery the reason I made it one of the biggest reasons was Avery his youngest brother um, me and him one time were fighting over the apple butter at a restaurant he's a redhead too so we both get kind of feisty a little bit with each other and he's Nine? Yeah. Nine now, he's not 10 yet. No. He just turned nine. He just turned nine, okay. So he was 10. Um, he got real feisty with me at this restaurant and he was like, you have to give me the apple butter because I'm younger. And I was like, you have to give it to me because I'm older. And the two of us were like fighting that one time we were eating with We were fighting over apple butter. So this jar is for Avery. And this jar is for the rest of the fam. <laughs> That's basically how it is. Can make it up to him for stealing his apple butter. I have this spot on the back of my arm, you guys. Look at this. It itches! It's eczema. Seven children. The oldest one is eight. Eight? Yep. And they have seven kids? Seven children. They have two cribs set up right now, so they have two that are under the age of two. Seven kids, five girls. 
several cousins and they were drama queens and I can only imagine having to actually deal with that firsthand. It's First of all, you had one girl cousin and she is probably the least dramatic person ever. I wouldn't mind two boys, but I the reason that and this is why I want two boys, but the reason I would love a boy and a girl, and we act like we get to pick, we don't get to pick this, is because I dated a guy who he was like, he only had brothers. And then one of my best friends in high school, she only had sisters. And I saw both sets of parents, like they, you could see that they truly missed and lacked that like other gender. So like the guy who I dated, his mom would be like, do you wanna go get your nails done? Do you wanna go shopping? Do you wanna go do, you wanna go do girl things? Because she only had boys. And then vice versa, the girl who only had sisters, her mom was like, oh my gosh, he has a baseball game. He has a basketball game. Should we go watch? Should we go, should we go support him? And so I think I would miss out on that aspect. That's what gender we want our children to be. Preferably, I could totally be a boy mom. What is going on at the school right now? Oh look, they got tennis matches. Bunch of, bunch of practices. And, yeah, no, that's a match right there. Just, what is it, Thursday? They're in, they're in full, yeah, full school. So they got a JV it's, football game going on right now. Yeah, September. They got, well, that's Orr going to get his brother to take him to basketball practice. So they got basketball practice going on right now. God. All right, so we're gonna go pick him up, drop him off, and then we're gonna figure out what we're doing for dinner. So we will catch in later. I'm sorry if I'm like shaking you guys a lot. He's driving like a bat out of hell today. The car is just moving a lot. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Why is my face so red? What is going on right now? Is my face that red? I didn't do anything different. Oh Lord, this is rosacea life, man. This is. That's when we were just wrestling on the couch. Oh yeah, okay. Sam attacked me. I guess it's so it's from, I'm hot. Um, Loose. All right, babe, let's say bye to him. Bro, I ain't never. <laughs> you ain't no Billy Bump or nothing. You're in an extra sassy mood tonight. Say goodbye. Tell them to subscribe. Say it. Do you, do you do the thing where you're like, oh, look in the top corner and yeah, click every on time. The next video. Oh, every wow. time. Well, hey, click, click, like. Nope. There. That's not how that works. Or is it over there? Is it there? Okay. So what you do? Somewhere, somewhere right in here, there'll be a box. No. So what you do is. If I'm telling them, I'll link my main channel right here. I can link an old video or yeah, top, <laughs> or a about. channel, and then in the very end, our screen comes up and it says like Sam and Mariah Vlogs, and then that's where yeah. it's like says uh -huh. subscribe. Okay, so so <laughs> so we're just not ah. gonna say bye. Just say bye. Bye. Say bye. Say bye, say bye Doug. Say bye, everybody. Bye bye. We'll see you on Monday. No? Okay, not in the mood. All right, that's fine.